especially the principles of each practical you should know them you should be able to recite them hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima sorry about the mess that's going on here i was doing some studying i just decided to take a little break to shoot this video for you guys so today we are going to be talking about biochemistry practical exam tips and tricks how to get a distinction in biochemistry practical exam in my previous video i talked about physiology practical exam tips and tricks please go and see that video if you've not seen it and please remember that this biochemistry video is in a series i also uploaded how to get distinction in biochemistry theory exams and next week i'm going to talk about mcq and obj how to get a distinction in mcq and obj and multiple choice questions in your mbbs exams anticipate and subscribe to my channel if you've not done so give the video a thumbs up if you like it share the video with your friends your classmates your colleagues it will help them a whole lot so let's get on with today's video okay so for biochemistry practical exam i really do not know about your school but in my school hmm you are going to carry out those practicals yourself it's usually just one paper and that paper is usually practicals well they can actually decide to add theory of practical that maybe they can ask you about the tools or ask you to state the principles of one practical or the other but you are still going to carry out biochemistry practicals so if you have been missing your biochemistry practical classes hmm, i have bad news for you you better start attending those practicals because you are going to carry out those practicals yourself and it's not going to be theory of practical law you will be giving the reagent you will be giving the samples and you will carry out the practicals yourself nothing like group work as i keep saying i don't know about your school but in my school there's nothing like group work in biochemistry practical exams you are carrying it out yourself and yes, I also need to add that if the invigilators do not see your end product, they would not sign on that particular number for you. And if it's not signed, it would not be marked. So for example, if you're asked to do a Selenium test, if they do not see that test tube that have the cherry bright, uh, the cherry red um, substance, they would not sign it for you. So they really need to see that end product. So that means you need to do the practical yourself. So the first tip i'm going to give you as usual is do not miss biochemistry practical classes because it is during these classes that the practical instructors who explain the principles of these practicals and principles of these experiments it is during these practicals practical classes that the practical instructors will carry out the practical himself we demonstrate it and show you how it's done and the practical instructors will go around to each group and supervise what you are doing when you finish missing this kind of rich practical class like this how on earth do you expect to enter exam hall and do this practical yourself and pass how and they usually do not give enough time doing the practical exams and i know why is because they do not want you to finish doing your own practical and start trying to help someone else so they know what they are doing so like I've said, don't miss your practicals. Attend practicals and if you attend these practicals, there's any concept you don't understand, ask your practical instructors, ask any of your, your group leader, start with your group leader. If your group leader doesn't understand, ask any of your classmates around that understand. If any of none of them understand, go to the practical instructor and ask your question. They usually even ask us to ask questions. So if you're bold enough, somebody like me, I'm usually not that bold to ask questions in class. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sure you're not that bold, but if you're bold enough, ask them the questions, they would answer you. So another tip I'm going to give to you is try to watch YouTube videos. Yes, for YouTube videos helped me a lot during my practical biochemistry exam. Try to watch YouTube videos like um, Selly One of Test for Ketohexosis. These YouTube videos I used because I think that practical was really sick, so I wasn't able to carry out the practical myself. That practical and acid precipitation test. <coughs> for proteins so i think those two practicals i am sure of that i searched youtube for those videos and i watched how youtube carried out the videos and after watching those videos i still went to meet any some of my classmates that understood the practical to explain it for me so youtube is of great help to you you'll be surprised youtube helped me a whole lot doing my biochemistry practical exams another tip i'm going to give to you is practical manual hmm you see that practical manual carry very close to your heart and try to 
look out for the practical manners of those people who do very well in your class like those who have 18 over 20 19 over 20 and above try to check out their practicals their practical manuals what was this that you did wrong why didn't you have that score try to go through it try to learn don't just fail and get so upset that hey i failed oh. try to know why you failed take the practical manual of your course mates if you can actually have access to the practical manual of your senior colleagues that would be of great help go through this practical manual know what they did that you didn't do and why they scored so high and why you scored so low try to get this information because this is what is going to help you grow and learn it is from your practical manual biochemistry department gets their questions from biochemistry department do not give slide so it's from your practical manual that they get their questions from so you need to have especially the principles of each practical you should know them you should be able to recite them <laughs> no, don't cram anyway try to understand the principle know the principles guiding whatever practical that you're carrying out because it is with this knowledge you'll be able to carry out the practical properly so this knowledge you'll be able to know the aim is with this knowledge you'll be able to write out your conclusion and your observation and your procedure you'll be able to know your procedure you need to know these things that is what helped me in my time so i repeat myself do not miss biochemistry practical classes make sure you compare your answers when you finish marking your manual and they give it back to you check your, your colleagues your course that scored higher than you check reach if it's possible snap their practical manuals so that you would know what they did that helped them score that high and you know what you did that made you to score low and you will not do it in the next practical and it's when you keep doing this and doing this and doing this that is what is going to help you so much in the practical exams another tip that i have mentioned is youtube try to browse some of these practicals on youtube youtube have oh, let me not say everything but almost every single knowledge that you need to pass your biochemistry practical exam youtube have that knowledge watch youtube videos so that you understand the practical better you will watch them carry out these practicals and you will learn how to carry out the practicals yourself another tip i've mentioned is your practical manual read through your practical manual several times or if it's snapped practicals from your senior colleagues that scored higher than you, read through your practical manual because it's from your practical manual that biochemistry department usually sets their practical questions. And last but not the least, ask questions. Ask questions. Anything you do not understand, ask questions. Any apparatus you, don't, you do not know how to use, ask how to use them so that you will not be in the dark because you're shy. And if you're the type that cannot ask the practical instructor in class, ask your cosmates around ask your senior colleagues you will definitely find one or two persons that will be of great help to you so if you watch this video to this point i'm really grateful thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you like it subscribe to my channel if you like my content and share this video with your friends your cosmates your colleagues this is definitely going to be of great help to them and remember to watch the biochemistry theory video if you've not seen it so i remain your girl jemima bye <laughs> So remember that my aim in this channel is to raise medical students with distinctions. I am really passionate about medical students like me and I understand the struggles that we go through daily. So these are things that I have gone through, that, so I've dropped the tips, those things that I wish I did in my time and those things I did that helped me so well. So remember you can always email me if you find anything. If biochemistry physiology anatomy anything that is that is giving you ah, don't even bother bye